Hey, you too. So, I am back with just a webcam upload. I didn't feel like breaking out my camera. And um, I just wanted to do a another video message to Tommy Sotomayor. Um, I just wanted to give him a warning that if he doesn't stop and get help soon, that he is going to die. And that's not a threat. Um, I am a um, follower of the page of the 100,000 black men that's against him, whatever. If people were smart, they would just take the five or ten petitions that they have against him and petition YouTube, send them to YouTube, and all this crap would get removed. Now, because I'm going to say this once and for all, the crap that you upload is crap. Now, the last time I tried to come at you with some respect, and this time I'm not, because you're not deserving of respect. You completely disrespected me on your show when I called in, and I'm going to say what i got to say. Okay, I'm going to give you the remix version of what I wanted to say before. Alright, but I want to first um, address what this video is about. Is that um, you are going to die if you don't get rid of this anger and this hatred and this rage for whomever you are mad at. Okay, you're going to die. Do you understand that? I saw your video about um, the mild heart attack that you had. And um, at first I thought, well, this is karma for what he's doing. But then after thinking about it, I said, you know what? There's a mental illness that is inside of you, okay? And I, I haven't really watched your videos enough to determine if it is a mental illness or if it is a spiritual thing. I think it might be a mixture of both. Because I think that you can definitely pretend like you have good sense. But deep down, you're just so messed up because of what happened to you in your childhood. And anybody that is intelligent can see that. And I'm not talking about somebody that graduated from college. Because college doesn't mean you're intelligent. I have always had an, an extremely high IQ. And I don't have a college degree, okay? So, but I'm still a very highly intelligent person, all right? So, anybody with intelligence, anybody with integrity, anybody with any type of way to look at somebody and assess something about them can definitely see that you are harboring a lot of anger. And... I say that because on my channel, on this channel as well as my other channel, I advocate strongly for children's rights in this country. Okay? And and that's what brought me to your videos, actually, because it was a video that you did about some mother that did something horrific to her child. And that's why I started watching your videos and, and I and I just was in shock when I began to really look at a few of your other videos I was just like floored like really seriously anyway I'm I'm gonna keep it real with you you are going to die and it's going to be soon I can see it in you from uh, for some reason the past the last few videos because I stopped watching your videos for a while because I had to um Mentally, I couldn't take it anymore, okay? But when I went back after, you know, um, people were posting your videos on their Facebook, um, on that Facebook group, um, uh, you can see it in your eyes. You're sick. Something is wrong. Like, you've got some sort of heart condition or something, but um, I think that whatever heart condition that you have, um, you've had it for a really long time. You probably were not born with that condition, but you developed it at some point in your life. 
Um, I think that you definitely have um, a few different. I think that you are bipolar, and I think that you are also um, schizophrenic, and I think that you also have a couple of personalities. I'm just being real. I'm not trying to be mean at this point. I'm just keeping it real with you. And all of this deep anger that you have. It's manifesting through yourself. You're not harming anyone but yourself. And maybe some children. And I'm going to say how you're harming children. I keep looking at myself instead of the camera. You're harming children because you are telling women who are single mothers that their children are bastards. And, they, and that they are illegitimate. And that they should be ashamed of themselves. Well, you know what? Who the hell else is going to be there for those kids? Who else? You are in a delusion that every single, single mother is single because of her own faults. And it is bullshit. And that is why there are so many people boycotting you. Let me tell you something about black women. Black women in general love black men. The bullshit 